Hello and welcome to United Stand where we're covering the story that's been posted today from Italy's sports media set about that Manchester United are apparently close to signing Austrian centre-back uh, Alexander Dragovic from uh, Dynamo Kiev. Uh, it's apparently a deal worth 21 million euros, so 16 million pounds, and apparently the centre-back is one step away uh, and it could be done in a few hours. If you remember, if you cast your mind back to... Um, Last winter, around the same time, basically exactly the same time, uh, we were having the exact same reports that he was really close to joining United and um, it went so far as that some of his teammates on uh, social media actually bid him farewell and good luck at the new club and everything and he'd started to uh, follow some Manchester United players in the Man United um, official Twitter account so obviously that all broke down, I don't know what happened but it shows that they're must have been at least some sort of uh, interest and that it was pretty close and then for whatever reason it broke down whether that was done us giving not giving enough money or them not being able to agree on a contract but apparently we've uh, revived our interest in him but I'm not too sure how reliable sport media set are as a whole on their own as well as what is an Italian newspaper going to know about a Austrian player coming to an English league but you never know. But anyway, um, what is Dragovic known for? He's sort of Vidic-esque, obviously not as good uh, as Vidic in his prime, but known for his tough tackling and no-nonsense approach. Um, he's got he's quite a fiery character, which I think we need in our defence because everyone seems a bit timid at the moment. We need like some leadership. Smalling's starting to step up, but he's still not on like that Rio Vidic level of leadership um, currently. Um, he put in some good performances against Chelsea in the Champions League, so he's proven, I know Chelsea aren't all that recently, but he's proven that he can do it against um, Premier League opposition. Um, he's seen as a very huge asset to uh, Dan Mokiev. He's six foot one, pretty powerful. And like I said, we, I feel we we desperately do need a centre back like, as one of our main priority signings. Daley Blin can't be playing there. It's not. It's nothing like against him, but he's not really a centre back. He's just not got the strength for it, the pace that we really need. Um, and like we can't trust Phil Jones. He just gets injured every two seconds. And Rojo is another one who seems to get injured quite a lot. So. If uh, Dragovic could come in and actually make an impact, that would be a huge boost. But we see it doesn't always work out with centre-back signings. Obviously, you look at City with uh, Otamende, with Mangala playing big money for centre-backs. But when we signed Vidic, he was an unknown, uh, well, pretty unknown uh, centre-back from uh, like that sort of league. So it could work out. It might not, might do, but fingers crossed. Um, but yeah, I think against... Uh, Against Newcastle, we really got exposed when we... Because I don't count Fellaini as a midfielder or as a player at all. So when it's just Schneiderlin holding and it really exposed... And Schneiderlin did do a good job, but it exposes how bad our defence is like when they're not protected by two holding midfielders. And I know it is negative that we have to keep playing two holding midfielders, but we're obviously doing it for the reason that... Um, our defence just really isn't good. I have no clue what happened to Damian. Uh, Luke Shaw is an absolute massive loss, not just on the defensive side of things, but on the offensive side of things. Like him and Memphis were good, doing a really good partnership before he got injured, and nothing that's affected Memphis's a bit uh, performances a bit because no one seems to overlap him anymore. Um, and then yeah, which just we seen Smalling. He had a really bad game against Newcastle, but I'm not going to blame him. And also, he hasn't really had a consistent partner with him the entire season because we just keep having so many injuries that they just keep swapping centre back partners like every two seconds, which is really frustrating. But yeah, uh, give your comments um, about if you would be interested in us uh, bringing Dragovic to the club, and if any of you have seen him play. Uh, apart from the Champions League games, I don't know how many of our uh, viewers watch. Um, the Ukrainian league but um, another news story that's come out today well it, they're putting it in the papers today but I just saw the quotes like a couple of days ago so I don't know if we said it to the German press originally but uh, Pep Guardiola has said that he may even wait two years till uh, he joins a Premier League team so Manchester United have obviously been linked with him once again but they're keeping their stance clear that Louis van Gaal will see out the rest of his contract which would ironically be the summer that uh, Pep is talking about if he has to wait that long. He's obviously been a long-term admirer of uh, Manchester United, but he's also um, 
got very close ties to City because of uh, their director of football that used to work for Barcelona when Pep was there. And I still, in my opinion, I still think that he's nailed on to go to City and I think it'll be this summer. I think he's only saying this two-year thing to uh, not put pressure on Pellegrini. I think Pellegrini's already been told that he's leaving. And yeah, Pep's just trying to be polite and not wanting to, I guess, put the team under any pressure or be harsh to Pellegrini in that front. And I think in terms of Manchester United, I think it's pretty much nailed on that we're going to get Ryan Giggs as our next manager. I think it's going to be a huge mistake because I think just because someone's a good player, it does not mean they're a good manager. And It'll be interesting to see how Zidane does at uh, Real Madrid. And I think United will be watching that closely. But um, you also can't compare Real Madrid to us because... They're in a less competitive league for one. And number two, Real Madrid have a world-class player in nearly every single position, whereas we only have basically De Gea as our only world-class player. So, But anyway, leave, be sure to like the video, subscribe, and uh, leave your comments on Pep Guardiola and also Alexander Dragovic. Thanks for watching. Bye.